everybody has resistant weeds. You have resistant weeds in the environment now. You have resistant weeds growing on the side of the road where there's never been crops. Just the, the population of weed seed in general in the environment is resistant. So I don't think it's really so much a matter of whether a farmer has resistant weeds. I think we just need to consider that weeds are resistant, period. It's just like switching antibiotics. If you use the same antibiotic over and over, you're gonna have resistance. If you use the same herbicide over and over, you're gonna have resistance. It's just good common sense to use different modes of action, and Liberty is a viable tool to get a different mode of action. Even if a farmer doesn't have weed resistance on his farm at the moment, I think it's still important to incorporate Liberty into a rotation because there is resistance out there. The farmer just hasn't selected for it yet. So by incorporating a, a different technology, you incorporate a, a different mode of action and you're able to eliminate those weeds that could potentially become problems in the future. When you talk to anybody about a Liberty Bean program, Bex is the name that comes to the top. They are noted for having the most product availability and they've done a tremendous amount of research with the Liberty program. For me, it just came down that when I decided, okay, we need to be looking at Liberty Beans, they are the only company that I even considered. And that's before I knew anything about their operation. You know, it was just the fact that when you talk to farmers and you talk Liberty Beans, Bex is the company you want to go with. The biggest question I usually get is, is there a yield drag associated with the Liberty Link technology? In all the plots I've seen and all the field replications I've seen, they're performing at the top of, if not winning every plot I've seen. We have an old saying on our farm, separate the science from the salesmanship. And there's always going to be somebody that's touting their data that says there's a yield drag and, and there's other lots of other data that I have confidence in that says there's not a yield drag. I haven't experienced what I feel like is a yield drag. I've been very satisfied with our yield. You gotta look at your operation and ask yourself, how much is those resistant weeds costing me? What are they costing me in yield loss every year? Farming something that's not always about how fast you can get something done. It's the quality of the job you do that's going to put the money on the bottom line. We plant Liberty Link soybeans because we are after the highest yield that we can get on our farm and we need clean fields to do that.